Hell one and hello wall. So I made two un I made two videos on Pilot I'm gonna show because it's really bad. It's me trying to get out of the Mish Woods. But then gotta talk to this guy, get out. Bring close in mystical hat. Are you A? <laughs> Surely you boy. I am Balobi. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Bombs. And that is how you get out of the Mish Woods. You get bombs. Thanks for not telling me, game. <laughs> I do like this game and all. But I could have at least given you a hint there. Why that a sound effect? I got bombs, yay! Okay. Dang it, I didn't hit select. Okay, I guess it's just a crypto ghost draw then. We're out! Okay, so it's supposed to head to Mount Cornell, or I'm gonna call it Colonel, base. What I'm in instead gonna do. It's equipped the bombs again. Can I pick them up? I can. So it's probably not gonna be another a few episodes till we actually get to the next dungeon. But um, uh, Okay, that's for later. Kinstone pieces. Thanks to Thanks for spoiling it. <laughs> it's a thing. It, it's a way to get side quests. Because there are a lot of them in this game. And Kinstone pieces, for the most part, are the base of side quests. Okay. A game a game break. <laughs> oh. So we are back in the eastern hills if you can tell. These guys are just flipping everywhere, aren't they? So you actually can't harm those guys yet. Probably should get my bombs equipped. Trying to show you all of them. Heck yeah, and get some shells. So this area was blocked off. It still is blocked off. But we blew up that. Ooh, mask bandits love these enemies. But, and if one of them does happen to live, just let him go. Cause he will let more guys come. <laughs> They're pretty good for grinding because they'll drop rubies and hearts and things like that. Anyway, also something cool you can do if the soft rock will demonstrate it. You can deflect the rocks. I don't know why I wanted to show that so badly, but yeah, it's, it's shown. Heck yeah. <laughs> Cut down those trees. And we are in Hyrule Town. <laughs> this is Zill and his friends. Come on, come on. Hey, you're ripping me off. 
Send me kinstone pieces and cut. You now know a few things them will do. Come up and get your free kinstone bags. Hold in your kinstone. Stone is on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for the kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right, it's made in here, but they are free for everyone. Yay! I got kinstone bag. Fitting the two kinstone pieces together is called a kinstone fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put kinstone in your bag so you can get it to dry. Um, when there's that thing over the head, <laughs> just press L. Hurdy goody man. Okay, and once they fit, something will happen. And you saw how there was a heart over his head? That means it's a heart piece. And he gets something. Anyway, if you don't mind. I don't get that. <laughs> now you can actually have a maximum of six heart pieces by the time you end like six heart containers by the time you are like halfway through the second dungeon. So technically I'm stuck with my five heart pieces. But I'll leave with seven after the last dungeon if I get all of them. So there's two more heart pieces in the overworld that I can access right now. Anyway, here we are in Hyrule Castle Town. Or just Hyrule Town, sorry. Suck these up. Doesn't really do much, but I hope for later. Okay, this person loves shopping. Thanks. So as you can see, can't do anything there. Let's head inside here. I'm Swift Lady, the first, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you'll increase your skill drop. So would you like to train here? Which I saw the most basic of all techniques, the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up now power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Me and Sin Park the Grave is old game except for the first couples. Ah, oh, very good. You're a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body to demonstrate the technique. I call it the Swift Blade Switcheroo Technique Training. Watch this. Switcheroo! <clears throat> You probably didn't understand anything I just said. Now you must charge yourself. Press and hold some point, burn off enough power, then release your strike the might. That's all there's to it. Yay! Yes, fine luck. You're quick study. Now I'll give you this tiger scroll. If you ever get the technique, you can view it with this scroll. You can view it any time in the course status screen. This is the first talk technique, yay! So I need new swords so I can get anything else. <laughs> yeah, you get a bone, you get upgraded sword rather fast in this game. <laughs> Let's do some exploring here. So I've learned my attack is so dangerous but maybe you can handle it. Show me your spin attack. You see, if you didn't get the spin attack, he literally would not let you pass. Yeah, that's the one. But that monster's not the kid. Make sure you're careful. Yay, we made it to the Tribly Highlands. Let me check that. Good lord, we are strong. We don't need any type of power gauntlet or anything like that. Dang it. Okay, 
I can't do anything there. This is Mount Cornell Base. That was a free ruby. Ooh, bombs. Let's bomb that for now. So there's nothing we can really do here for now. <laughs> But if we quote unquote negotiate with this guy, you got me. I'll make it up to you. Buy some good. A friend of mine, Akira Stealth, has a handy tool. If you want to climb Mount Cornell, I suggest you go buy from him. Thanks for the info. So there's a guy in the Tribly Highlands who has some stuff for us. We'll be able to break these rocks eventually, but you have to beat the second dungeon for us to do it. Okay, let's get bombs out. That's something we'll be able to do later. Get our shields out. You can have this deluxe bottle. We got an empty bottle, yay! And that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I know, it seems kind of lame, a bottle. But, if we equip it. We got some water. Put on that vine and it will grow. Yep, that's how you do it. Good tech tights. Oh, God. <laughs> so, this is Mount Cornell Base, basically. <laughs> Base, ickly. Okay. <laughs> Let's try and suck up all this stuff. Cause if you touch it, you will take damage. Best to just go over now. I can't remember if he spawns or not. But I might as well do it for it now than later. It's not a requirement. It's just recommended. As you can see, you take a quarter heart of damage. This looks mighty suspicious. I'm not sure if you're supposed to bomb it. <laughs> it's been a while since I played this game. Oh ho ho. Uh oh, my favorite type of choo choos. The red ones. They have a high chance of spawning hearts, I think. Because, you know, the red. Never mind, I only got one heart out of that. And that's gonna have to do it for today's episode. So, see you for part whatever.